From a prison for the undead to a theater that makes scary movies look like cartoons, we go to Decatur, Illinois. On North Main Street, there looms a century-old vaudeville theater with a massive stage, ornate ceilings, and grand balcony. Perfect for a night of entertainment or horror. Enter the legendary Lincoln Theater, the most haunted theater in the country. The Lincoln Theater is, is not only probably the most haunted theater in the country, but it's probably one of the most haunted places in general in the entire country. I've been able to document going back all the way to 1930. People who claim they encountered ghosts in the theater, and those stories have continued all the way up until today. It's just one of those places that really just sort of defies explanation. It's no wonder this place is crawling with creepy ghosts. The site itself has a long history of horror. According to legend, the town of Decatur is built on an old Native American burial ground. And the Lincoln Theater itself was constructed on the ashes of the Decatur Arcade Hotel, which burned to the ground in 1915, killing an unknown number of people. A year later, the Lincoln Theater opens exactly on that site. And I honestly think that some of those ghosts may be left over from that hotel, especially those people who were just simply burned up, their bodies never buried. This theater was built, I guess you would say, right on their gravesite. It opened as a vaudeville theater, a live performance theater, and became known as probably one of the finest theaters anywhere in the Midwest for vaudeville. A lot of performers who were big name at the time came through. Jeanette McDonald, Al Jolson played here, Bob Hope played here at the Lincoln. After thriving for 60 years, the Lincoln was boarded up for a decade. A major renovation in 1990 restored the theater to its original glory. And when they threw open the doors again, the ghosts from the Lincoln storied past were waiting in the wings. I've been here for nine years. There are some strange things that happen in here that nobody can really explain. We've heard the uh, curtains. Sounds like they're open and closed and they haven't moved. One of the legends concerns the balcony so section where we're sitting now. Uh, people sit down here in the auditorium, can look up here and see shapes and figures wandering through the auditorium, one of which is a ghostly woman who sits down here and watches the play. Sometimes they don't see her at all. Sometimes they just see the chair as it's sitting here and, and someone's sitting in it watching the play down on the stage. That freaked me out just a little bit, yeah. But if you want a seriously spooky encounter in the Lincoln Theater, pay a visit to the spiral staircase located behind stage left. The spiral staircase located here in the back corner uh, of the Lincoln Theater stage has always been regarded as, as the theater's most haunted spot. 12 years ago or so, I came here with a news crew, and the cameraman asked me if I wanted to climb up to the top of the spiral staircase to do a little filming from the top. We filmed everything that we needed to, and as we were getting ready to come down the stairs, we heard the sounds of someone following us up the staircase. I mean, very clearly, hard-soled shoes on a metal staircase kind of winding their way up to where we were standing. Assuming the footsteps belonged to the news crew's reporter, the cameraman shone a light down the steps to help guide her up the dark staircase. Well, he shouted down to her, you know, is, is that enough light? Can you see? Well, she answered, but, you know, probably 30 yards away from where we were at. At that point, the cameraman pushed me out of the way, literally ran down these stairs and left the theater and uh, refused to come back in the entire time we were there. And you can bet, that's one skeptic who's now a true believer. While he never believed in ghosts before, the Lincoln Theater made him a believer.